Welcome to your new Super Review segment. Today is the 12th day of January 2022. Yes, it's 2022. It's a new year and a happy, happy new year to all of you, our team and viewers. Thank you very much for staying with us up to this time. If you're just seeing this video, we are live on Facebook and on YouTube. On Facebook is Tap TV. On YouTube is Tap TV and on Instagram is Tap TV underscore NG. And we'll be really glad to have you on our platform because we have very interesting programs for you. All right. But for today, we do the headlines from the national and local dailies like we do every other time. And we'll be really glad to have you here interact with us as we take these headlines. We'd love to hear a reaction. So drop it on the comment section. Let's hear what you have to say. All right, thank you very much. Let's go straight to taking the headlines this morning. All right, we begin with the Punch newspaper for the 12th day of January 2022. All right, let's go straight to the headliner here. It says, Buni Malami moved to block convention. Governors rise against interim chair. That's on page two of the Punch newspaper. And under that, we also see three governors. Justice minister pushed consensus agenda to block Tinubu. Someone is manipulating convention not to hold. Progressive Governors DG. Malami doesn't hold any position in APC. Plays no role, says Media Aid. All right, that's uh, the big headline here on the Punch newspaper. We also see subsidy mobilized for protest. NLC directs affiliates, CSOs. Boari, Jonathan, Obasanjo, Governors Mon as uh, ex ING head. Uh, Shonikon dies at 85. All right, we move away from the Punch newspaper. We take on the Vanguard newspaper. And then the very interesting picture here on the Vanguard newspaper is the Super Eagles. That has been the big news since after the match yesterday uh, between Eagles, uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, and the uh, Egyptian side. Okay, uh, we take on the big headline here. It says, Crisis Festa. Uh, APC convention, crisis fester as three northern governors hijack party. That's on page five of the Vanguard newspaper. Um, then we also take, let me just take that of the Super Eagles. Say, Super Eagles off to a flying start. Super Eagles off to a flying start. Yes, that's a very, it's a good news coming from the camp of the Super Eagles. Uh, they, they started on a very good note yesterday. All right, we also see 2023 presidency. Omahi informs Boari of intention to run, all right? Uh, all of that is on the Vanguard newspaper. So pick up a copy and read up the full story uh, for yourself. All right, we take on, next we take on the Nigerian Tribune. The Nigerian Tribune, the headliner here says, how PDP will decide its presidential ticket. Wiki, that's Wiki talking. And under that it says, Omahi joins presidential race, wants um, Ohaneze against uh, partisanship. Omahi Tinubu, no threat to uh, Osibanjo group. Die is cast between Tinubu and Osibanjo, Mamu Jega. APC should take position on zoning, Okore. I'll match Tinubu, greet for greet for APC ticket. Carlo, wow, interesting one coming up. Like I told you, 2022 is the beginning of the election in year and a lot is already happening. All right, so we move on to other headlines here on the Nigerian Tribune. It says, universities in Nigeria have 1,000 lecturers for 2.1 million students, NUC. Very interesting one. So pick up a copy of the Nigerian Tribune and get all the full gist. All right, next we take on the Daily Sun newspaper. And the headliner here says, 2023 presidency, Umahi challenges Tinubu joins race, pledges to replicate achievements in Eboi if elected, recommends political solution to insecurity in Southeast, are uh, consider contesting if APC zones ticket to region. Kalu, uh, all right, we need to find out what all of that means. Please pick up a copy of the Daily Sun newspaper and read up the story. And also down here we see Buhari, IBB, Jonathan, Lawan, Atiku, Kalu, Ayim, Governors, Mon, Shonika. 
Federal government orders flag at half mast life times of late ex interim president. Uh, that's uh, the former interim president of Nigeria, Alex Chonika. If you need to get all the story, please pick up a copy of the Daily Sun newspaper and read up the story. I also take this very headline here. It's a group appeals to Buhari to release Kanu to end crisis, says uh, continued uh, detention will worsen security situation in region south south. All right, so pick up the Daily Sun newspaper and don't forget to drop your comments and your reactions on the comment sections. We'll really be glad to hear from you. Thank you for staying with us. All right, we continue with News Direct. All right, News Direct, the headliner here says, 2023 election, more presidential aspirants emerge for APC. I'll replicate same feats as governor at federal level, Omahi. Nigerian youths will only reckon with zoning by age, not region. Yaha Bello support group. All of that is on page three of News Direct. And then we also see other headlines here. It says, Obasanjo, Governor Abiodun, pay tribute to late NS Shonika. All right. And then we see down here, Oshu 2022, APC structures solid to win Guba election. APC structures solid to win Guba election, Senate spokesman. Then we also see under that, Fantami Aragwe Shola set to commission digital Nigeria project in Oshu. Right, if you need to get all the details, do well to pick a copy of News Direct to get the full gist. Next, we take on Daily Trust newspaper, and the headliner here says 2023 Rumpus in APC over zoning as Omahi Kalu join race. Northern aspirants uh, strategize, Northern aspirants strategize a boy governor in Villa seeks Buhari's blessing. I'll tackle Tinubu, ex Abia governor. Fire me will speak at appropriate time. CPS. All of that is coming on the heels of the 2023 uh, elections. All right. So um, let's take other headlines here. It says 2023 mixed reactions trail Panquaso's dismissal of zoning. And then we also see Afcon, Ihena Cho on target as Nigeria defeat Egypt in group opener. And then there's this other striking headline here. It says national flag flies at half mast as Shoniko dies at 85. Buhari IBB Jonathan Atiku mourn. He was head of state at a difficult time. Tinubu, death, a colossal loss, says Abiodu. All right, so pick up a copy of the Daily Trust to get all the full J's. Thank you very much for staying with us. That's all we'll be taking today on the News Super Review segment. Thank you for staying, staying with us. And if this is the first time you're seeing this video, please do well to join us on our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. On Facebook is Tap TV. On Instagram is Tap TV underscore NG. And here on YouTube is Tap TV. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to always get notified whenever we come in line. Well, from me here, William Sabule, catch you next time. And thank you for staying with us today. Don't forget to drop your comments and your reactions on the comment sections. We'll really be glad to hear from you. Thank you for staying with us.